check it out, check it out. This is a Grubisa Merlin. This is, uh, Frank is a local builder here in Sydney, Australia. And he uh, has some, uh, he's been building guitars for a long, long, long time. Wonderful guitar builder. Uh, and he, this is a model that he does. It's his own sort of model called a, a Merlin. And uh, it has a couple of sort of unique features, uh, the Merlins. And uh, this particular one has a, a couple of customised sort of options. The neck profile is a bit hard to see here, but the neck profile is a modelled off a Makati, PRS Makati. It has uh, spurs or locking tuners, nitro finish. The body, the body profile. And once again, I'll try and get some camera shots here to show that. But the body profile is has a reasonable. It's quite thick, quite thick, and he chambers the guitars, so the weight is not there. I mean, the, the, this sort of body, a mahogany body and a maple cap and a, a mahogany neck and a rosewood board, you'd sort of expect a little bit more weight because the body profile is quite thick. It's like a custom, like a Les Paul custom. But um, it's uh, been chambered and uh, they, are, uh, they have uh, full weight relief. And also, uh, I remember talking to Frank once about this and Frank chambers not just for weight relief, but there's to some tonal aspects that he has um, uh, some strong thoughts about with regard to his guitars. The, uh, uh, the, the pickup configuration, it's all standard stuff, two humbuckers. The humbuckers in this particular guitar, serial number, 006634. The two humbuckers in this particular guitar are Modern Eagle 2 pickups. And they are, uh, uh, as you can see, they're like a mixed hardware thing of nickel and gold, but uh, they have a coil split on the tone. It's a master tone and a master volume. This is a coil split that splits the two humbuckers into single coils. Three-way selector, standard sort of stuff. Uh, binding, maple cap, it's a natural finish. But uh, I don't know if you can see this here, but he's got really cool curves. It's really some wonderful, it's a carved top, but the back here is completely sort of carved and, 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 and raised. It's sort of like uh, raised to, to sort of, you know, have a stop tail, strings feed through the body. Like I said, it's a really beautiful guitar. Um, the inlays are, uh, on this particular guitar, I mean, uh, are just little sort of, what do you call them, shark teeth? I've got baby shark teeth maybe because I think the Ibanez shark teeth are like serious sharks. These are like maybe wobby gongs, just small little harmless sharks. But uh, their inlays, uh, dots, just a, a killer instrument. Nitro finish everywhere, as I said earlier. It's got some beautiful sounds. <laughs> Now if I go to the neck pickup, really nice, beautiful, warm sound these pickups. Both pickups on. Coil split, coil split, coil split, see that? Elevator stuff, it's, you've got to pull and it uh, comes up, goes to another level. A um, little bit of drop in volume there, which sort of standard practice. See the mid range come in there from the, the, the humbucker sound. But um, uh, let's have a, let's a little, quick, little quick listen, coil split. Middle position. I'm getting the wind up here. Uh, um, there you have it. Um, Grubisa Merlin.